everyone, it's Emily and Matt. We're going to be talking to you guys about the 25th Infantry Bike Soldiers, um, giving you a little bit of a background history on them for our Lunch and Learn tomorrow, where we kind of go a little bit more in depth, maybe answer some questions you might have. Um, we'll also be discussing with Christiana and our colleague Anne, um, talk a little bit more about the Brownsville Raids, and stuff like that. Um, Anne has created an online exhibit about the Brownsville Raids, and we will also link that below for you to check out and look at before the discussion tomorrow too. So to start off, Matt's going to give us a little bit of a background on the bike soldiers in their early years here, and then we'll go all the way through to the Brownsville Raids. Um, and like I said, we'll have our lunch and learn tomorrow talking all about them. So Matt, why don't you take away? Yeah. Okay, so Montana settlers requested a fort here in Missoula in 1877 to ward off warring natives. Um, but then after 1891, when Chief Charlo's Flathead was forcefully removed to the Flathead Reservation, the containment against natives languished. And in 1890s, some Buffalo soldiers who were later stationed here with the 25th Infantry quelled labor riots in neighboring Idaho. And this leads us to the bicycle, so a little background first. So commanding armor, uh, general of the US Army, uh, Nelson Appleton Miles did a tour in Europe in 1896. And he wrote a report and he discussed how various armies began experimenting with the bicycle, traveling through tough terrain in Europe and he was very curious to see if the bicycle could replace the horse, which was the central mode of transportation in armies in late 19th century Europe and United States. And Lieutenant James A. Moss, a young cadet fresh out of West Point, arrived here in Missoula, and in 1896, A.G. Spaulding, a private bicycling company, donated the U.S. Army some bicycles in 1896, Moss and some of the Buffalo soldiers traveled through Western Montana through the Continental Divide and Yellowstone. Moss and company grew excited over this trip and in 1897, Moss planned a more audacious trip from Missoula, Montana to St. Louis. And there is the, m no, that's not the map. No, no. you can get the, the map. Map's <laughs> the map's coming. The 1897 trip lasted from June 19th to July 24th, a total of 40 days. On the trip were about 20 Buffalo soldiers, Moss, a surgeon named James Kennedy, and Daily Missoulian reporter Edward Booz. Booz and Moss wrote lengthy journals about each day during their trip, and some obstacles on the trip included intense heat, rain and some hostile encounters with locals oftentimes when the 25th infantry corps would ask for directions the locals were very um not helpful giving them wrong directions and mosque and booze complained about this frequently in their journals yeah and that and then when they arrived in st louis they were greeted with a warm welcome and moss wanted to travel back to Missoula via the bicycle, but the army requested he take a train. So he took a train and the 25th arrived back to Missoula, pretty safe and sound. And Emily, you can Yeah, take and then here. after, shortly after that, with the Spanish-American War, the 25th Infantry were actually deployed to Cuba, where they assisted. And then later on, at the turn of the century, they were also deployed to the Philippines and when they came back, they were uh, sent to Brownsville, Texas. And that's where we get more into the Brownsville Raid. And like I said, uh, our colleague Anne has created a wonderful online exhibit that we have linked below. Um, so if you wanna check that out to get the history. But, but at the end of the raid, um, unfortunately our 25th Infantry were all um, uh, discharged without honors by President Teddy Roosevelt. Um, so they did not meet a very happy end of their service, even though they were uh, very loyal. And like I said, you can get more details on that below. Um, but yeah, we would also like to 
I invite you to join us to our lunch and learn tomorrow where we have more of a discussion, maybe answer any more questions you might have about our uh, infantry soldiers, uh, any more questions about the bike rides or any of their time here in Missoula. Um, so yeah, we will see you all tomorrow. Um, anything else? Um, I would say during the Spanish American war, a lot of histories tend to glamorize and romanticize Teddy Roosevelt's charge up Black Kettle Hill, but actually a lot of the Buffalo soldiers did the nitty gritty work and a lot of history doesn't recognize that until pretty recently. So that's pretty noteworthy, I think. Yeah. And if you want to learn more about them, again, join us tomorrow at noon, Mountains Time, and we will see you then. Goodbye.